going on people welcome back to Curtis Shaw TV um, thank you for all the support lately keep liking commenting subscribing to the channel There'll be a lot more content coming up thanks for all your support so today we're going to be doing a video can you and I Emery rescue Arsenal season I mean I would say 80 90 percent of the fan base have been calling for him to be replaced people can't see much to believe in um, there's a lack of confidence a lack of motivation, there's no real system, no real style to how we're playing. But can he rescue the season? We've heard the board come out and say, look, you know, they've given the dreaded vote of confidence, which means he's going to be here for a little while longer. And um, I was looking at a few things, you know, whether you like Emery or not, he's here. We've got to support him while he's in charge. Can he turn it around? Just like anything in football, a striker who's not scoring goals, if he starts banging goals, then all of a sudden things settle down. Now, I'm just looking at a few things. Arsenal's next three games, Southampton at home, Norwich away, Brighton at home. A great opportunity for Unai Emery to restore confidence, to get people scoring goals, to maybe keep some clean sheets and to rebuild. Give us a platform to rebuild. We also play Frankfurt in between um, and a victory there secures qualification. So... How do we get these three wins now? I mean, Emery's got to use this Southampton game as the springboard to build from. A home game against a struggling side. The fans need to get behind um, Emery and the players. And hopefully we can get a win. I mean, I'm looking at it now. Leicester play Everton in the next three games. That's a tricky game. Chelsea go to Man City. Man United play Tottenham at home. So the other sides around us are definitely going to drop points. You know, some of them are playing against each other. So... It's an opportunity for us to close the gap. I mean, we're eight points off the top four. I was trying to look, you know, what positives can I gain from Emery and what he can build on. I mean, there's not a lot there. I mean, we've lost three games in the Premier League, the same as Man City. So, you know, we've drawn too many games. That's the problem. We're top of the Europa League group. Nothing to celebrate, really. But, you know, I'm just trying to give us something to build on. And we've got a full squad to choose from once Sabayos comes back. And I believe he's close to being back. Um, the negatives is the lack of goals, the lack of clean sheets, the lack of system and knowing what system to play and what formation. And the lack of confidence. You know, there's no real confidence in the side. So we need to use these next three games to build on that. Now, I want to see in the next three games, personally... Especially the Southampton game. I want to see Lacazette, Aubameyang and Pepe all starting with Meza Ozil in the pocket behind. Um, Ozil, I think, has established himself now back into this team. Play him in the 10 role and get the front three ahead of him and give him something to work with. Against Leicester, he played like a false nine role with Lacazette and Aubameyang wide. Another thing as well, Martinelli. Um, he's done so well when he's played. But he's not getting the start in the Premier League. Now, I know it's hard because we've got our front three that's, you know, they're all the big players that we paid big money for. But Martinelli's definitely asking questions. And I think if you're going to bring young players through and they're doing well, you can't then say, well, we're not going to start you. Give him a chance if he deserves it. That's a whole other debate. Um, the midfield, we have to figure out what our best midfield is. Because to this day, I don't know. I don't know what our best midfield is. Um, Gwen Doozy, I've said a number of times, individually, major potential, and he's been our best midfielder this season, but I think collectively at times he goes missing, especially defensively, um, he wanders, he switches off, and that's something he's got to work on now, without Xhaka and Torreira in the side, we don't have defensive um, qualities there, um, so I think Torreira has to play, I think Xhaka's probably done at Arsenal now, so Torreira's got to be the holding midfielder. He has to be. You know, Torreira's having meetings with the club saying he's unhappy. From what I hear, he's unhappy with the role he's playing. And naturally so. You see him for Uruguay in that deep line role. And he looks solid. You know, he had a great World Cup and we was all excited. He came to Arsenal, started the season like a house on fire. Faded towards the end of the season. But clearly he has quality in that defensive midfield role. So we have to get him back in that role. And then the defence. For me at the moment, it's quite straightforward. I would go Bellerin back at right back. I think he has to get fit and get prepared for that role now. Tierney at left back. David Luiz. And the next one, would you go Chambers at centre back possibly? For me, Socrates has been poor this season. And even towards the end of last season, I thought he was fading. Um, 
The reason I would go Louise is the experience and the quality on the ball. I think Louise is probably the best passer of a ball at the club, especially long passing, um, which says a lot about our midfielders, really. Um, Holding has looked really shaky since he's come back. He's, he's really highly rated by the Arsenal fan base, and sometimes I'm unsure as to why. I think he's a decent player. Um, he's a steady defender. Uh, he tries to play the right way. But defensively, I think when you really test him, I think sometimes he's fallen a bit short. I think his best spell in an Arsenal shirt was when Wenger went to three at the back at the end of the FA Cup winning season. But you ask any defender or centre-back, it's much easier to play in a three than in a four because you've got the um, extra protection of two centre-backs either side of him. So for me, holding, I think, maybe isn't as far developed as we thought. So I would possibly look at Louise and Chambers as our centre-back partnership. Um, Leno in goal obviously picks itself. So you may be looking at a midfield of Torreira, Guendouzi and Ozil. Or do you even go Torreira, Ceballos and Ozil? I'll leave you lot to decide. You let me know what you think. But, you know, Emery's here. He's going to be here, they reckon, for at least another month, six weeks. Although, personally, if we lose to Southampton, I think he would possibly be gone after that. But... I hope we get the win. I'll be doing a preview later in the week. We'll get more into detail about that game. But my question is really, can Unai Emery rescue Arsenal's season? These next three games are the perfect opportunity to get some wins, get some goals, hopefully keep clean sheets, restore the confidence, get the fans behind us. You know, the fans have got to support the team in and out the ground um, on social media and everything and you know whether you like Emery or not I'm not a big fan of him but I will support him while he's the Arsenal manager because if he wins Arsenal win and I'm happy we're all happy so what do you think can he rescue the season what midfield would you play what formation would you play what defense what front line you know there's so many question marks and that's not a good thing would you play Martinelli ahead of Lacazette would you play um, two up front would you play? What midfield combination would you play? Would you start Ozil? And what two centre backs would you play? You know, would you play Holding? Would you play Chambers, Louise, Socrates? So many um, different answers. Let me know in the comments what you think. As I said, thanks for all your support. Keep liking, commenting. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel. There'll be much more content coming out. And uh, we'll speak later in the week. Bless.